Okay, we are in the laboratory. I have my good friend Henry Sue here. We're gonna talk about general snow skate setup, physics, and some of the theory behind uh, setting your board up, distances, etc. All right, it's Henry here, and these are our brand new Payon trucks, going to be released for 2025. This is an earlier prototype that I've allowed Bryce to demo for him, see what he thinks. And uh, we're here to discuss how to set this up on his brand new donger. So a lot of people get confused on where to place your trucks and where, which way to angle them. And uh, it doesn't really matter if you put your trucks with the axles facing outwards or the axles facing inwards. What really matters is the axle positioning relative to each other and relative to the end of your top deck and your sub. The distance from the axle to the end of the top deck, this will affect your pop and board response. I like to run about the length of a shaka, that's about nine inches from the end of the top deck to the axle. If you shorten that distance, it will feel a lot more stable, but at the cost of pop. And you'll have less response in the board but you'll be able to carve a lot harder. Another thing that people have questions about when they're setting up their snow skate is the distance between the top deck to the end of the sub. Um, there's advantages of both, whether you have a very long stick out or a very short. The shorter it is, the, the higher you'll be able to ollie and the easier it will be to um, kick turn your skate on, on steep terrain. Uh, the longer, uh, you'll be able to carve and uh, hold an edge better, um, but you'll sacrifice the ability to, to ollie your skate because ultimately the sub will touch the ground, preventing your skate to pop. The distance from your front truck to the front of your board is not as crucial as the back, but what it will do is change the feel of the front of your skate. Uh, the further you push this axle forward, the stiffer it'll make your nose. If you find that your nose is collapsing or just flexing too much, you can try to push this axle a bit more forward. Okay, so if you know the uh, hay on trucks are slotted, so it does allow for some kind of infinite uh, fine tuning, right? These little slots you could, you could adjust a micro front and back. And you know, with even with your rocker trucks, you'll have you'll have different options. It's just going to take you a little bit more to get it set up. I think the gist of it is we're giving you the basics here to run with, but don't be afraid to go out and try something else. Try a narrower wheelbase. Try a longer wheelbase. It's you know, rider. It's mileage may vary for sure. So uh, don't be afraid to mess with your setup and get the optimum right out of your skate. Okay, so we move the, the bolts of the trucks one inch for the tail to stiffen this up without grunt like a Romanian weightlifter. <laughs> it's quite a bit stiffer. I'm having a hard time even getting down to the tail and it really stiffened the ride up quite a bit. This is the bolts about that shaka we talked about. Distance away, it's a nice big flex in the tail. <laughs> 